Anna and I'm an occupational therapist. And let's talk sensory processing. You may have also have heard the term sensory regulation or my child is so sensory. But what does that actually mean? It can be very confusing and overwhelming. So let's break it down. We've all heard that we have five senses, touch, taste, sight, smell, and sound. But did you know that we have two more? Proprioception and vestibular. These senses help with movement. Proprioception is sensed by our joints and helps us know where our body is in space. Vestibular input is sensed by the inner ear and tells us whether we are balanced so we can move through our environment. So what does this have to do with sensory processing or sensory regulation? Think of each of these sensory systems like a cup. Some cups are small and some are big and they are all different. Water is like the sensory input. If you have a big cup, you can put lots of water in and it will take a long time to be full. This is like if you have a big cup for sensory input. It takes a lot of sensory input before it registers. This is an under-responsive system. An over-responsive system is like you have a little cup. It will only take a little bit of sensory input or water before you begin to overflow. This is when things get too much and you might see a meltdown. You want your cup to be full, not empty, and not overflowing. So your child might have a big cup for proprioception and vestibular. They need lots of movement to concentrate and learn, but they might also have a small cup for noise. So crowds or the vacuum are, are distracting and overwhelming for them. We all have different sized cups for our sensory systems. That's why you have one person who loves roller coasters and another person who hates them. You couldn't pay them enough money to get on a roller coaster. And so we all learn to manage them in different ways. Even as adults, you, we all have sensory habits. Think about that person who clicks their pen or jiggles their knee in a meeting or twirls their hair. All of those are sensory habits. Think about how you manage your sensory systems. 